good gang as y'all see we here right before the market open we up a few dollars pre-market we up 14 dollars pre-market so we should our losses should be going a lot lower so let's see where we at right here Let's see where we at, y'all. We have fourteen dollars pre-market. Okay, let's go. So we gained four hundred dollars today. So we have five sixty-two, fifteen percent loss. Five eighty-five. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit just to see which direction the market wanna go. Oh, it's going back. It's all good though. That's how it, you know. It's just how it is sometimes. But that's a lot better than taking a nine hundred dollar loss though. Five thirty four. So we down to the fours right now. So this this feel a, a lot better than being down nine hundred. So I could just technically jump out right here if I wanted to preserve, you know, protect myself. And just call it one if I'm not sure how much more it'll go up. But I got a feeling it's going, you know, it's running right now. So I'm going to just let it run. So check out. So here's the price right here. I'm hoping we get 520s today. Somewhere around there. But this is gonna be a quick video. I'm just showing y'all where we at right now. You see, it's it's five, it's five oh eight, five oh nine. You know, it's running right now. Let's see, only down three twenty, three thirty seven, three fifty, two eighty two. I done gained six hundred and eighty-five dollars back today. Six hundred and eighty-seven. So yeah, we just gonna let that run, y'all. All the way up to six hundred and ninety dollars. Seven hundred and ten dollars back, down a two hundred and fifty five dollar loss. Two hundred and fifty two, two forty two. That's beautiful. It sucks to have a loss, but you got to remember this was just down $900. So I might have to get ready to be cutting my losses pretty soon, y'all. Really, I could hold it because it's not it's not down that far anymore. Up $740 for the day. It's only down $222. So yeah, it's a big decision. Seven hundred and thirty-two down two twenty-seven down one ninety-five. So it's still moving down one eighty one seventy-seven. One seventy one sixty. Let's go up eight hundred and seven dollars, eight hundred and twenty dollars for the day. Down only a hundred and forty. Down only a hundred and fifteen. A hundred and twelve. It's up eight hundred and fifty dollars for the day. That's wild. It's only down a hundred and ten dollars. That's crazy, y'all. Uh, volume is high. So right now we got a long green candle. This is showing, uh, you know, confidence conviction in the market so that the buyers are sure this is the direction that the price is moving got a little shadow at the top so they trying to bring it back down only down 147 so we got a uh, okay so 
This is a more robosu. Uh, this looks like a open, a open more robosu. That means the open is shaved, which means the buyers are taking control. So they they really pushing it right now. They they want it up there. It's looking like you know we right there at that high point. I don't know. I'm look. We down ninety bucks. I might have to cut them losses. Eighty five. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna have to cut losses here. Three twenty. We down one ten. One thirty. One fifteen. 180 down 160 167 Down to 205. So on the one minute chart, we got short candles showing that it's a fight. Yeah, I want to get out of this trade, y'all. Uh, even though I got a very long time that I could hold it for. But I just don't like it went the wrong direction out the gate. Oh, but it's going back up. It's going back up. It's all the way back to 107. It's down to $105, y'all. Okay, 514 is looking like that's the high right now. Okay, so we're going to get it gone. So we sold it at 36.90. So So let's see how much I lost off of it. Really, I could have held on to that, but I just really didn't want to keep sitting at a loss, especially if it turned back around. So 38.30, 38.30 3830 minus 3690 minus 3690. So I lost $140 on that trade. Which sadly, but after being down 900 and something dollars, you know, I prefer to just get out that trade. Now let's see what it do. Now it could end up going up even higher. And then I'll be salty. But I'm waiting on the pullback now. Now I'm going to just sit back and watch the market instead of trading because 
I just made a bad trade. So after a bad trade, you want to sit back and analyze why was the trade bad or what went wrong with the trade and see what you could have done different or what you should have done different. But that's it for this video, y'all. So you see the price is moving down. So I got out at the high point. I got it at 514. So if this begins to go, you know, lower, then that means I got out at basically at the perfect time. If this goes up higher, then I should have waited a little bit. And it's looking like, you know, it's basically indecisive. They're not sure which direction they want to go yet. But that's the end of this video, though. We got our money. We got most of our money back. But I'll, I'll update y'all on the next video.